The East End, a place of shadows and secrets. In the 1930s, from its cobbled streets rose Reggie and Ronnie Cray. Identical twins, different souls. Born into poverty's grip, they craved power. Boxing offered an outlet, a taste of control, but ambition burned brighter. National service beckoned, shaping their ruthlessness. Desertion followed, army prison hardened their resolve. Back on the streets, their legend began. Protection rackets, their first foray into London's dark heart. Violence, a language they spoke fluently. Their reputation spread like wildfire. The twins, a captivating paradox. Reggie, charming, calculating, the public face. Ronnie, volatile, unpredictable, the enforcer. Together, they commanded fear and respect. They understood the art of intimidation. Their gaze could silence a room. Their grip on the East End tightened. Their world, a dangerous ballet of brutality and charm. They moved effortlessly between darkness and light. Politicians and celebrities drawn to their enigmatic aura. The craze, masters of their domain. Their influence seeped into every crevice of the East End. They became synonymous with the area. Their names whispered in hushed tones. The 1960s. London swung, the craze at the epicentre. Their nightclub, a glamorous facade. Behind the champagne and laughter, darkness lurked. Politicians, entertainers, gangsters, all part of their twisted court. Their business, a tapestry of vice. Protection rackets, their bread and butter. Gambling dens and clubs, their cash cows. Violence, always the undercurrent. A whispered threat, a sudden brutal act. Their reputation preceded them. Ronnie, the flamboyant one, reveled in the spotlight. Openly gay in an intolerant era, his unpredictable nature, a dangerous allure. Reggie, ever the pragmatist, managed their empire, a cold, calculating mind behind his charm. Their bond, unbreakable, fueled their ambition. They craved legitimacy, a way to wash clean their past. But the allure of power proved too strong. They were the kings of their jungle, and they wouldn't relinquish their crown. The East End, their kingdom. Across the Thames, another power rose. The Richardsons, South London, their domain. Brutal and efficient, they challenged the craze dominance. A turf war brood, a clash of ideologies. The Richardsons, devoid of the craze flamboyance. Their brutality, raw and unconcealed. They lacked the craze finesse, their understanding of image. Their power lay in fear, pure and simple. The Crays, masters of manipulation, saw the Richardsons as a threat, a vulgarity on their carefully crafted canvas. The rivalry escalated, a dance of death, each side vying for control for the soul of London's underworld, the clash inevitable, a battle for supremacy, the Crays with their calculated ruthlessness, the Richardsons driven by brute force. Only one could emerge victorious. The streets of London braced themselves for a storm. The East End, the craze playground, their influence inescapable. From pubs to nightclubs, their presence loomed large. They cultivated an image, Robin Hoods of the working class. Fear, their most potent weapon, but respect, they commanded that too. They understood the power of loyalty. Favours granted, debts collected, a network of informants, their eyes and ears on the street. Their reputation went before them, whispers of their deeds, both benevolent and brutal. Mothers warned their children. Shopkeepers paid their dues. Silence bought safety. Dissent was met with swift retribution. They were the law in their own land, their rules absolute. Cross them and face the consequences. They thrived on the fear, on the knowledge that they held the strings, the East End, their puppet show. 1967 marked the beginning of the end for the notorious Cray twins. A murder investigation of a low-level associate with evidence that was circumstantial but damning set the stage. Scotland Yard, long underestimated by the craze, began to close in. Their empire, built on fear, started to crumble as witnesses, emboldened by the possibility of justice, came forward. The net tightened around the twins who, arrogant as ever, believed themselves untouchable. Their trial turned into a media sensation, captivating the public with their downfall. As the evidence mounted and the prosecution pursued relentlessly, the Cray's carefully crafted world shattered. 
By 1969, the verdict was in guilty. Sentenced to life imprisonment, their reign of terror was over, and the East End breathed a collective sigh of relief. Yet, the legend of the craze lived on. Behind bars, the Cray twins faced a different kind of imprisonment. Their empire was gone, and their freedom became a distant memory. Ronnie, his mental state deteriorating, was confined to Broadmoor, while Reggie faced the solitude of his cell with his thoughts as his only companions. Even from prison, their legend continued to captivate. They remained objects of fascination, their story morphing into a cautionary tale. The press, ever hungry for any scrap of information, kept their names in the headlines. As years turned into decades, their grip on the public imagination never waned. Books were written, films were made, and the craze were forever immortalized in popular culture. Ronnie passed away in 1995, his mind consumed by illness. Reggie, released on compassionate grounds in 2000, died just a few weeks later. Their lives played out like a Shakespearean tragedy on the streets of London. Death did not diminish the notoriety of the craze. Romanticized and mythologized, their story became a heady cocktail of violence, glamour and brotherly devotion. This potent mix continued to captivate the public imagination. Their lives have been dissected and reimagined in countless books and films, each iteration adding to the legend. The lines between fact and fiction have blurred. Were they ruthless gangsters or misunderstood anti-heroes? The answer perhaps lies somewhere in between. They were products of their environment, shaped by poverty, ambition and a thirst for power. Their story reflects a turbulent era and serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us that power, no matter how intoxicating, comes at a price. Their legacy remains forever etched in the annals of London's history, a dark stain on the city's soul. The journey of the Cray twins, from the back streets of Bethnal Green to the heights of London's underworld, remains a subject of morbid fascination. They were a paradox ruthless criminals who cultivated a public image of benevolent rogues. Their story, a potent blend of violence, glamour and brotherly loyalty, continues to captivate and appall in equal measure. They were products of their time, but their legacy transcends their era. The craze serve as a stark reminder of the allure and ultimately destructive nature of unchecked ambition. Their story, forever intertwined with the fabric of London's history, serves as a cautionary tale, a dark reflection of the city's underbelly and the seductive power of the dark side of the human psyche.